Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in this video we're going to talk about health and injuries in Pulp Alley. Before we get started, please take a moment, show your support, and click that like, and share, and subscribe button for us. Personally, I like it when the injuries actually affect characters during a scenario. And it just makes sense. You see that sort of thing when fighters get wore down in boxing and in MMA. And you also see sometimes when they recover and they get back in the fight. But you don't really see that very much in other miniatures games. In Pulp Alley, we have an innovative and easy way to do that. And I'm going to show you how it works. When we say a character like Phantom Ace has a D10 health, what that means is simply that he rolls D10s when he has to roll a health check. So if, if he took three hits, he'd roll three dice and he'd use D10s because that's what his health is. To pass the check, all of the dice have to be a four or higher. So you can tell the more hits he takes, the harder it's going to be to pass the check. If he fails the check, then that means he suffers an injury and his health goes down one level. So if he was at a D10 health, he would go down to a D8 health if he was injured. If you watched the last two videos that we did, you would have noticed that Phantom Ace got injured in the uh, brawling video and that took his health down to a D8. And then he was injured again when we just did the shootout video and that took him down to a D6 health. So the thing to remember here is that an injured character cannot roll any dice higher than their health level. So if his health is at a D6, he can't roll 4 die 10 for shooting anymore. He can only roll 4 die 6. When a character is at a D6 health and they fail their health check, then they go down. And that's what happened to Oki Joe in that last fight. At the end of each turn, every injured character on the table gets to roll one die six for recovery. If they pass the check, then their health goes up one level. If they fail the check, nothing happens unless they are down. That means they are KO'd and removed from the scenario. For example, if we look at where we ended the shootout video, we had two injured characters. Phantom Ace was at a D6 health, so things are looking bad for him, and Oki Joe is down. Let's go ahead and roll for their recoveries. So we'll, we'll roll for Oki Joe first. He's down, so if he passes this, he's back up to a D6 health. No, he failed his roll, and that's going to knock him out of play. Next, we'll roll a D6 for Phantom Ace and see if he recovers. He got it, a six, and he shakes off one of his injuries, and he's now back up to a D8 health. Girls and boys, taking on these big, powerful characters is always dangerous. But you know, once they get injured and they start losing some of their effectiveness, that's when you really want to throw everything you have at them and try to put them down. Because if you wait too long and you give them a break, then they're going to slowly recover their strength. You see that in, in adventure movies, and you also see it in Pulp Alley. Now, there are other special circumstances and special rules regarding health, but this is all we're going to cover today. One of our viewers had a question about setting up and creating scenarios, so I think we're going to try to do a video about that. And if anyone else out there, if you have a question or a suggestion about something you'd like us to cover in a video, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks everybody for watching our videos. That's all for today, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone.